stairs. Very scary thing. I was standing about 80 foot from it, and I just was in immediate shock for my life, and I took off running. School. School safety at the forefront in Prescott tonight after police say an eighth grader walked onto campus and shot another student in the hallway. This happened on Monday. The victim now at home while the shooter remains in custody. Yeah, tonight parents heard from school and police officials about ways to prevent this from happening again. Fox 16's Mitch McCoy just returning from Prescott with more on tonight's event. Mitch? Yeah, Kevin and Donna, good evening to you both. The discussion lasted about an hour. I was allowed into the public meeting, but our cameras were not. Some parents left feeling frustrated about the lack of communication regarding the lockdown and bullying. As moms and dads head into Prescott High School Wednesday, school safety is top of mind. We really need their help. While our camera wasn't allowed inside the meeting, I was. And although police are not saying what led up to Monday's hallway shooting, bullying was the big topic of conversation. We didn't get any clarity as to what will be done about the bullying. Alicia Page has several kids in the Prescott school system. She says some students are scared. They'll be called a snitch if they report bullying. School School leaders promised a new anonymous tip line within a week for students and parents to report bullying. I know that there are many students that would like to tell certain things, but because of them telling it, it leaks back out. Some parents brought up the idea of metal detectors. We're so open campus here and we got so many open doors. And so there's a lot of other issues that must be fixed first. The superintendent says the district needs better communication with parents, students, and teachers during lockdown situations. The only way I knew about a lockdown is because my child snuck and called her father to tell him, hey, we're on lockdown because there has been a shooting. As parents head home to their kids, Alicia wonders about the usually unlocked school doors and if any changes will be made. Until this incident has happened, there has really never been somewhat of a concern. Right now, there are two school resource officers, and the superintendent mentioned that they'll be adding another. The district is also purchasing two-way radios that will be used amongst some of the school staff. And things did get pretty interesting, a lot of back and forth between parents when someone brought up the idea about arming teachers. It sounds like they covered a lot of areas, and all, all of it seemingly constructive moving forward. But is there a top priority? Is there something that's going to go into effect immediately? What we know right now now is that they are going to be adding that anonymous tip line. Okay. What uh, I got out of the meeting was that there was a possibility that someone knew that there was uh, some kind of uh, you know heated words between mm -hmm. the victim and the suspect of Monday shooting, and there was nothing reported to police. Police were there during tonight's meeting and said that uh, you always hear the the saying "see something, say yeah. something," yeah. and he said that failed mm -hmm. here, and and he said that the anonymous tip line should help prevent this in the future, but it all goes back to bullying. There are a lot of parents that I talked to tonight that say there is a lot of bullying in Prescott and they want it to stop. Okay, all right. All right, Mitch, thank mm -hmm. you. And a friendly reminder, we here at Fox 16 take bullying very seriously and we are certainly doing our part to put an end to it. If you would like my Step Up Stop Bullying program to come to your school, your organization, even your church, Go to fox16.com slash bullying. You'll find a form there. You can fill it out. It's easy to do. And together, we can hopefully make a difference.